From forever chemicals in orange juice to jumping off a boat to go viral, there is a lot to cover in today's sidebar. Dean is with Daniel Del Rio uh, from Del Rio and Caraway. Hello, good morning to all of you. Yeah, a lot to get to. So we're going to start here with that first one that you mentioned, John. So Coca-Cola is facing a lawsuit over claims that it's simply uh, tropical juice contains toxic forever chemicals. This scares me because these tests can be done on any product. It's just that these happen to be done on the Simply Tropical Juice and they found what? It's terrifying. Well, they found essentially that there is hundreds of levels higher than they're allowed to have of this chemical in normal drinking water. Okay. So there's a terrifying amount that's found to be here and this isn't a product that's marketed that it is simply juice. It is pure juice. It is made natural. Mm -hmm. So it's got this level of almost deception to it they're claiming. Yeah, so it's the PFAs that we're talking about. Man-made chemicals used as oil and water repellents and coatings that you find on like the, the non-stick pans and things. So what can be done here? They can face, I'm sure, a hefty lawsuit. Well, and yeah, so this is it. So this is, you know, deceptive marketing this is whether the FDA needs to step in and say that this is actually harmful and too high to actually mm -hmm. be on the uh, shelves. So there's a lot they're going to have to look to from both government enforcement and then also civil action. Okay. All right. We'll continue to follow that. In the meantime, it makes you think twice about what you're drinking. Um, okay. The next one, this is actually something we've covered a lot on the CBS side. Arson. Uh, there have been um, many reports actually in recent weeks of somebody setting fire inside of a store in order to distract and then to steal things allegedly. So what's the basis here legally for these people if they get caught? So it's terrifying because in their mind, this is a little distraction so they can go have a misdemeanor crime where they're going to try to steal something that's under $950 worth. Sure. The problem here is twofold. It never works out like that. Mm -hmm. But if someone were to get truly injured, truly, I mean, even killed in this, this is felony murder. I mean, they're going with an intent to do one crime and in it potentially causing the murder of another person. Mm -hmm. These are horrendously, not only dangerous, but incredibly serious crimes that they are premeditating to do. Yeah, and I know when we first reported on it and we talked to some of the customers in the stores where this was happening, they were terrified, thinking, well, what if we would have got stuck inside and weren't able to get out? Well, that's so. just it. There's nothing controllable about fire. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so the last topic is actually something that we first talked about this years ago during the pandemic. TikTok, there were a bunch of videos kind of making their viral appearance with people jumping off of moving boats. And around the summer months, we see these videos pop back up. The algorithm kind of puts them in front of you. Well, this obviously is not safe. It's obviously something that can be incredibly dangerous for many people involved. Can TikTok, though, be held liable here if something serious happens? So this is unfortunately not the first challenge we've seen that can get quite dangerous. Earlier, there were things like the blackout challenge where people tried to you know knock themselves out and mm -hmm. you have this challenge. The whole idea is, is there liability on the social media website that allows these to be posted? Traditionally, there's been a lot of fight against that because the idea was it's not their content. They can't be held liable as publishers. The trend may be starting to change on this. Mm. It's a very early you know, uh, idea, but California recently had a bill, I believe it was AB 287, that went ahead and was trying to go ahead and hold social media uh, platforms liable for certain types of content. Mm -hmm. Specifically, they were targeting where teenagers were made addicted to dangerous content such as suicide content, eating disorders, mm -hmm. uh, how to illegally gain access to uh, weapons or illegal drugs, things of this nature, because the idea is that there is a certain part of our population, i.e. young adults, yeah. that are incredibly impressionable, yep. can become addicted very easily, uh, have huge susceptibility to things like eating disorders, and so there is an idea, there's a trend going that we do have to have a limit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that a lot of people would agree with that. And uh, unfortunately, we're seeing four people have died as a result of this boat jumping incident. And so got to hold someone accountable, right? Especially for these families. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Dan Del Rio this morning from Del Rio and Caraway. We appreciate you. It's a pleasure. Right, back over to you guys.